Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Programming on WMMT Whitesburg is made possible in part by the National Endowment for the Arts. For nearly half a century, Apple Shop, nestled in downtown Whitesburg in Letcher County, has been a cultural center of the Appalachian region. Filmmaking and preservation, culture and arts education, broadcasting through WMMT-FM, they're all part of Apple Shop's work in central Appalachia, according to Apple Shop's Ada Smith. We would not be able to do that without the National Endowment for the Arts and Humanities. They um, provide us amazing amount of seed and matching funding. And now, just short of its 50th birthday, Apple Shop stands to be one of the victims of President Donald Trump's proposed federal budget. Apple Shop would not be here if it wasn't for federal money. Trump's budget calls for the elimination of the National Endowment for the Arts, National Endowment for the Humanities, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, all of which contribute to Apple Shop's operating budget. The elimination of those programs would be devastating to the nonprofit Apple Shop and other arts-based organizations that receive federal funding. I think when I, when I think about the NEA and the NEH being under attack, um, I think about why don't they care about our culture? Why don't they care about our music? Why don't they care about the arts and crafts we make here? And to me, it is very um, anti-community for the government to do. Um, and I believe that arts and humanities projects um, are super valuable for our country and something that we should be investing in. To zero out the only arts and humanities funding that this country provides um, seems very short-sighted to me. Last year, Apple Shop received about $270,000 in funding from the National Endowments for the Arts and Humanities and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is also on the chopping block in Trump's proposed budget. Smith said attacks on the arts, humanities, and public broadcasting by way of federal and state budgets are nothing new. When I think about the threats, um, what I think about is what a waste, <laughs> what a waste of talent and contributions of the people here to not be able to access funds like these. Um, the, the fact that we have amazing ideas, smart people, good communities that want to put these resources to use and submit very competitive proposals to do so, and then those opportunities be taken away. And now Apple Shop waits. Reporting in Whitesburg for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.